expect them to win, but then again we expected St Kilda to win yesterday when they led by 63 points. Blakey does well in a pretty tight situation. Kick from, uh, was it Simpson? Ingerson. Back to Chisholm. Chisholm down to half forward. Abraham, not Abraham, but Pickett. Oh, that's beautifully delivered to Clayton. Ruse, you would think, on a roll. Grant has to beat two. Took on his opponent and lost. The ball's turned over. Ward's got it. Melbourne must get the next goal, you'd reckon, if they go to win the match. A little push out there. Wasn't played by the umpire. Farmer steams onto it. They need a mark. Mooney in front. Takes Schwartz to the ground. No free kick. Simpson. Back to Mooney. On to Blakey at right half back. Wonderful poise there from Mooney under all sorts of pressure in the deal there with uh, Schwartz. One of the second time they've got the kangaroos going through the centre. Shaw from Grant. He's got plenty of time to bomb it long. Carey! No, can't complete it. Any score will put the ruse in front. The tackle from Chisholm ineffective. Bell snaps. Won't make the distance. Scott and Wawoden. He's got a big two. Intended for Welsh. McKernan. And a rush behind, North are in front. So two goals, nine to North Melbourne, or the Kangaroos in this final term. They've got it there often enough. They've had enough shots at it. They haven't found the big sticks when they need them. They'll take a bow, Shane Woe Woden. He's on his knees virtually, taking some deep breaths. He fought three North Melbourne players to stop that goal. Dennis Pagan sitting back. North Melbourne, 2-9 in this final quarter. John Blakey has marked 65 metres out to Stevens. They keep on coming. Carey has marked. Now he's missed all of his set shots in this last turn. And they've all been closer than what he is at the moment. He'll be kicking from 55 metres. He's bid at four goals, three. He's taken eight marks. He's had 20 possessions. Not a bad day's work, is it? You wouldn't expect him to miss four times in a quarter, would you? Just over three minutes of action left. Wayne Carey. Takes his time. Kangaroos lead by a point. This to extend the lead to seven points. The King from 55 metres out. Again, he's off target. It's a two-point ball game. Well, they need a goal, don't they? Still time for Melbourne. There is, because in this game, you can swoop from one end to the other very quickly. Melbourne need to be able to do that, be able to take this the full length of the ground and score a goal and make the Kangaroos pay for these misses. And he finds Phoebe, who bangs the ball to the half-forward line. He was looking for McDonald. Simpson so strong overhead. They'll share it around. Shaw, short of centre wing. He can go short. Guess who's there? Carey. Long way from goal, maybe a little bit too early to be playing keepings off. He'll take plenty of time. You can see the clock ticking down, draws a man, bombs it long, eventually to half forward. White. Kennedy has come back. It's a long time since they goaled. Carey's there again. Oh, oh Schwartz excellent. got a mile in the air. Cow, Carey applies a tackle. It's a gang tackle virtually in front of us on centre wing as Nicholson prepares to come back on to again replace Jeff White. And the players just swarm towards this contest. Melbourne must get a goal. They trail by two points. Neil Danaher looks on anxiously. McCurdan's been fantastic. Schwartz comes at him. A little toe poke by Ingerson. Shaw does the shepherding. Carey down in defence at the moment. Well, you put your best where the action is. Punch away by Shanahan. Intended maybe for Leon Shelley. He couldn't pick it up. Phoebe. McDonald. This has got to be the D's go. Chisholm. Neats and McCartney. Oh, McCartney clever. Pick it comes in, we'll see a boundary throw in. She wasn't that great football. Chisholm bursting through. 
Perhaps it was a get all one, but it didn't end up there. McCartney in front position going towards the boundary line. Neat's not giving up. Pickett comes in and rolls them all over the line. Strong, hard football. Nicholson was in front. Stevens applies a tackle. Clock ticking down. You would think the Ruse would be able to hang on. Neil Danaher goes for the phone. Pagan's beat on the phone. What's going to happen here? Chisholm went without it. Simpson, he'll see it out of bounds. Take us to the line, KB. We've got a minute to go. Well, Chisholm thought he may have been held without the ball. The Kangaroos by two points. Just the one draw between these two sides. Kev back in 71. A goal would have to be got here to win this one. So a draw in this Chance for Melbourne Rigoni. <laughs> Pulled off the ball. It's in the square. Clayton forces it through. One point the difference. So Melbourne will have to man up. Pick it to bring the ball back into play. 93 plays 92. Just one drawn game between these two sides. Bell has got it in the back pocket. He'll be taking his time. Melbourne players should be telling the umpire. They've got to hurry him up. They'll take it off him in a minute. And Travis Johnson is doing just that, the youngster, as Bell aims out towards Kerry in the boundary line. Big pack of players. The Demons need a crumb. McDonald takes it to ground over the top. Anthony Stevens, a ball up. 20 seconds left. McDonald need to keep his feet then. The Once he went to ground, he lost a lot of momentum and a lot of time for the side. The Demons need to win a clean possession. lanchelli has been magnificent today. 33 possessions. North Melbourne, that'll do it. Consummate professionals. Heads towards the line. For a toss back in. Just two seconds left. It's been a brave attempt by Melbourne. They lost Gary Lyon, Marcus Seacamp and Todd Viney before the opening bounce. They led by two points at three-quarter time. They're going to lose this game by a point as Nicholson thumps the ball as the siren sounds. North Melbourne's won their eighth straight game. Melbourne, gallant in defeat. Well, they got up by one point against Hawthorne, Melbourne, and they've lost by a point today, so you need to have a strong heart to follow the Ds. But without three of their stars, they gave it everything. Got to a useful lead early in the final quarter, but the Kangaroos were able to come back as I think you would expect them to. Well, a little bit of luck could have turned it around, but over the last 15 minutes or so, the Roos were just a little bit too strong today. Carey, unbelievably missing four set shots for goal in the final quarter, still finished up with four goals, four but the inaccuracy, it may have told at the end, 12-21 to 14-6, here's Paul Couch. Archer was a great battle all day, just, you had about seven or eight points there, do you ever think you were going to win at the end of the day? Um, half half, towards the end there, when we were kicking all their points. They did they, throw them in the you though, didn't they? Like, they did, oh fantastic, they are the uh, league leaders at the hardball gets, and they proved why they are today. Corey McKernan's really improved. He was sensational, jumps really high today and took some great grabs and uh, we're going to be a force if Corey's going to be playing like that. What do you think? You, are you better this time than 95, do you think? 96? 96, uh, it's hard to, hard to compare, Couchy. Like, like yourself with the uh, Geelong days. Yeah, all right, get on your arts. Thank you. Well on. Thanks, Couchy. Glenn Archer speaking to our boundary rider and uh, like the rest of your teammates would be happy to sneak home. A gallant effort from the Ds five and six before today's match and uh, they may be still in line for a position in the eight it's very very even but North Melbourne eight games straight now and the best run of the season today victorious by the narrowest of margins 12 21 93 to 14 8 92 a very good afternoon to you all from the MCG